No, I won't mentor you. Seems kind of harsh, right? Because I run this channel. If you found me on social media, you know that I'm out there trying to help people get into the tech and cloud industry. So when people send me messages asking me if you know I can mentor them, why would I be potentially sending them this video that says that I won't mentor them? Now, it's not that I don't actually want to mentor you. It's more that you need to get clarity on the direction that you're trying to go with your cloud career before you reach out to different people to ask them questions. You might end up getting ghosted by a bunch of people if this is the type of message that you're sending to them, something that says, will you mentor me without any additional information? Because if you think about it, what that actually does is it puts the emphasis on the other person to solve your problem. Now, if you're going to be asking someone else for their help, you need to put in more time and energy than you would expect from them. What I'm going to show you in this video is actually a framework, a set of questions that if you answer these questions, that's going to give you immense clarity about what you're trying to achieve in the cloud industry. So let's start with the first one. I want to become blank. You know that I'm always going on about this repeated piece of advice, which is that you must focus on a title or a job role specifically. Now it's fine in the early days for you to explore different technologies, things that you find interesting, but at some point you're going to have to decide which roles am I going to start applying for? You know, you've got cloud engineer, data engineer, architect roles, backend engineer, front end engineer, user experience, scrum master, engineering manager, lots and lots of different roles and titles. So go and do your research and have a look into that. There's another part after that. So we've got this because. Now it's easy to think, okay, so why do I want to become a cloud engineer? The answer to that might be, I want to become a cloud engineer because I Googled highest paid tech jobs and cloud engineer came up. It's certainly important to understand your own motivations and they might not be financial at all. It might be because you want a remote job so you can work from home. It might be you want to get paid more so you can provide for your family. But the important part here is not actually what motivates you. Why do you think you specifically can get that job? Now, a lot of people come into the industry and they Google highest paying jobs and they find sort of technical architect roles. Now, a lot of those roles for architects require an immense amount of experience. So what I want to understand from you is that you have done your research here to understand why you think you as an individual are the right person for that job. Let's move on to the next part down here. Let me just pause for a second. If you're getting any value out of this video or one of the many other videos that I've published on the Open Up The Cloud channel, I would really appreciate it if you're able to like the video. I don't create videos that are very clickbaity. I actually make videos that I think are really going to unblock you when it comes to your cloud career. So I'd really appreciate it if you're able to like the video because then it gets more visibility and can reach more people. Otherwise, I'll get back into it. Let's move on to the next part down here skills I will learn. Now, the reason that I'm asking you about the skills that you will learn is because you will find that there are a huge amount of skills that you can learn in the tech industry. The important part here is that you can start to put together skills that will complement each other. So very important that you get down a limited number of skills. I recommend five. Coming into the last part is basically skills that you will not learn. So what I want you to do is to take all of those skills that you're potentially excited about, you might have seen them on the internet, and I want you to put them down as skills that you will not learn if they are outside of the top five skills that you're going to focus on. What I've actually done is created a PDF that goes into those four questions in a lot more depth. It gives you some prompts and some additional information, like for instance, for the job title, I'll give you a whole list of different job titles in the cloud industry that you can research. Then when you do reach out and say, hey, I'm looking to get into the cloud industry, here is the job title that I'm looking to focus on, here is why, here are the top five skills that I'm looking to learn and here are the skills that I've considered but I'm not going to learn. What do you think? Get clear on where you're trying to go before you reach out to other people. I'll drop a link for that PDF down in the description box and that should help you answer these questions and get more clarity around your direction when it comes to the cloud industry.